To my garage this is the uh, motorcycle rescuer um, and this is my quick flip or not so uh, Lex Moto Diablo 125 it's finished it's done it's dusted but I thought I'm gonna have to take it for a quick spin just to get it up to temperature and make sure that it basically pulls properly I mean I've run it up and down this road but that's not good enough considering someone's going to take it away. Um, I don't feel too bad letting someone take it away because I give people half an hour, 45 minutes to test ride all of my bikes. I insist on it, I insist on it. I don't, I don't care if they idle it here for 45 minutes, guys, or run it up and down this road for 45 minutes, but I insist they do a long enough test ride because, and I tell them if it's going to break down, you want it to break down now because basically once you've driven away, it's over. Um, I make sure they've got their phone on them so that they can call me if, if it does break down. And uh, I'm a very honest, genuine seller. Uh, I'm going to find my helmet cam, take this for a spin. We'll go, we'll go for kind of six, seven, eight minutes, get it up to speed, put it over a couple of bumps, check the brakes, check this, check that. And uh, if it all seems fine, uh, these, the ad will stay up, it's already up. And hopefully this will sell soon. This is kind of the final product. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, car wax on it just to thicken the shine. But overall, guys, this is the final product now. I was trying to remember what we did to this bike. Remember, I bought a bike that just had missing keys. It was a great runner and rider with a year's MOT. That's what I was sold. Um, and obviously, you have no way of testing it because you don't have any keys. The steering lock was off, conveniently. So I got to push it into the van. And as you guys saw, when I cleaned the carb and put the new ignition set on, it didn't do the job. Uh, all that the housing was loose wasn't it the head was loose the piston was loose uh, The ring had snapped it was all a bit weird someone had played with this bike massively Someone who probably watched my channel and tried to do what I do Did something with it. I, I don't mind that. I just prefer a genuine sale. So this bike's had a lock set It's had six oil flushes. It will have another one or two before it goes if it doesn't go soon um, it's had all the wiring gone over, it's had a new piston, it's had a new cylinder, it's had the valves adjusted, and everything's kind of been looked over, tightened up. I'm going to put a bit of car wax on it after just to help it pop, or maybe some of that Meguiar's resin stuff. Not that I'm a huge fan of that. I don't think it's as shiny as the turtle wax polish. But let's actually get it out and run it and see how it goes. Let's see if it starts first, guys. It hasn't started since today's Boxing Day. So I haven't had it out since, oh God, but, uh, Christmas Eve. Hey, there you go, lovely. Um, I don't know where I've got the idle at the moment. Oh, the indicator. I don't know where I've got the idle at the moment, so I'll have a little look at that. It's easy to get to. But we can do all that on the run. Let me set up my helmet cam and we'll go for a quick spin.
so well. Okay guys, so you should see that that ran beautifully um, on the uh, helmet cam, on the GoPro. So uh, I have no um, problems at all letting this go. I've advertised it for 900, I think, or 950. Uh, they are very popular bikes, guys. They're two grand new. Uh, it looks like they're 1600 new, but they're not. They're, by the time you've actually done all the paperwork and stuff, they're two grand. Anyway, either way, and it's got a new piston in it, and I expect it to last a long time. So uh, 950, looking to take 800-ish, is about spot on for this kind of bike. Uh, and that's what I'm looking for, roughly, unless, of course, any of you guys are interested. You just have to contact me and we'll sort something out. It'll be a fair amount cheaper than that. Because I like keeping um, eye, you know, an eye on my bikes. I like staying in contact. So, very happy for it to go a touch cheaper to you guys. Or a fair amount cheaper, even. Um, I've got the new intake manifold for this. That's good. I am going to chuck that on because I want this to be one piece again. Uh, because I want it, yeah, I want it to just be... Uh, itself again and kind of start nipping it up actually uh, I've bought some um, sanding pads to get these sides done I think I'm going to stick with the pan I talked about I think I'm going to use the sticker to uh, to go on the side my slight concern is the sticker won't stick very well on this part when it's so out of sorts but I think the I think the pad I've bought the sanding pad should help that out a bit and other than that well, let's see. We might have tried to see the eye when we were messing with the DNA over there. The DNA? What was we messing with? No, this thing. This sip engine. But that's always a possibility that we fried it. That we fried it. But um, it don't matter. We order a new one. We chuck it all in. So we'll piece this up. Uh, who wants to see the Galera? The DNA and its new CDI. Who wants to see if it sparks? I'm, I'm half interested. Um, does that bike kick? I can't remember. If it kicks, it will save us so much time and hassle finding a battery. Or, like, two minutes worth of time and hassle. No, it blatantly don't kick because there's no kick on it. All right, I'll go and get a big battery. We've got the new CDI. Interestingly, the new CDI doesn't come with a earth. That, that, that's interesting. Uh, I'm hoping it hasn't been pulled off or snapped off. Let me check that. Look. It doesn't have doesn't have any means for that earth which is interesting uh, and it tells me what colors to put here look you've got red white and green so uh whew, we might have spark i swear if we have spark on that dna i think it'll fire if it does fire by any miracle then we need to not run it for long at all we need to uh get the coolant system done and through because there's nothing there is no coolant in there it's not running a coolant system it's not running um, any uh, oil at the moment I don't know the two stroke coming out of here is rough it's dirty as hell so I don't know if how that works if you can drain that system um, I've seen the two stroke tank it's got a fair amount of oil in it I believe it's this one here look it's pretty much full up look. Uh, although you don't know if that's you know watery or anything I think I'm going to have to flush all the oil and the oil system, flush the water and the water system. We need to work out what goes here. This is an oil cooled system. I think it's just a plastic shroud. I don't think there is a um, a fan on there because it's a water cooled system. But I'm way, way, way jumping the gun. First thing I need to do is put a battery on, plug the new CDI in, plug the wires in and see how healthy we're looking. I'd love to see a spark. No, no, it's the lead. The lead's dodgy. All right, guys, new intake manifold on and, and seated. This needs blocking off. Sultan just said, what can I do? Sultan, you can block this off. So get a tiny piece of fuel tube, just, just a bit bigger than that. Chop it, but think about how you're gonna block it off. Normally, you put a big fat screw in or something. Uh, that needs blocking off and Everything else needs wiring up. This don't matter. This is like the carb heat tool or something. They're not really used. Uh, that's the suction line. That's fine. That goes straight onto there. We need that for the fuel. Hey, 
there you go suction line and then the fuel is there uh, and I'm going to need to nap all the electrics plug it all back in and then we'll check and see if this thing fires it may it may not we don't know at this stage uh, is there a spark plug in here no there's not that means you're going to have to get your little hands in uh, what plug is it oh it, it's the one we left in here did we Yes, it's that one, uh, and it's only hand tight. No, it's not. All right, so we'll work that out. I don't know where the uh, where did the uh, coil go for that? It should be in there last time. No, it's not. Unless it's under. Is that it? What's that? No. Nope. Look, the coil should be attached. So we moved the coil onto that one, didn't we? We pulled it all out. We had it out here. It'll be there somewhere, guys. We'll, we'll find it. Uh, I'm interested to see if this is still sparking, actually, and see if this is uh, running. I guess we can chuck a coil in and check this for spark before we do anything else. Okay, guys, so this is the new CDI. Look, rewired. Be careful. Make sure they're not touching. Make sure it's the right colours. Uh, I don't know here. I don't know if I'm expecting spark. I'm probably not, but... We'll look anyway, just in case. It would be nice. Guys, look very, very closely. Very closely, Sultan. Oh, again, hold it. Hold it. That is Spark. We got Spark, guys. All right, guys, so we got some pre-mix in there. See the red fuel? It's not as, as mixed as last time. Uh, we've got spark, we may have compression, we actually don't know about that. Uh, I'm going to play with the intake because it, it, it will be having too much air at the moment. There, it could start up, it shouldn't really, I don't know, maybe. It has got spark though, so we just don't know. Uh, we can't rev it, we haven't set up the throttle, so we can't rev it, but we'll hear something maybe. I, I, I really don't know guys, I genuinely don't know. Uh, we don't necessarily need to stand it up, but it's nice. Uh, so I'm just going to play with this, so i one minute, just make sure it's all in. Right, uh, right, give it, yeah, go on, give, give go a little. You ready when you are? Uh-huh. Yeah, go on. Why are you revving it? It's not connected. Oh. Numpty, that's what I told you. Right, go on. Yep, go on. Yep, go on. Concern is why it's got so weak. Ah, the spark plugs in. I don't think it's turning fast enough, guys, to have any, you know, with a lazy git chronicles. Is he even recording? Oh, yeah, he's recording. All right, lazy git chronicles, uh, part seven or eight or whatever it is now. Anyways, uh, we found out there's a, well, first of all, there's a uh, actual kickstand. <laughs> That's one of the main things. Not a kickstand, sorry, um, center stand. And also, um, we thought, let's try it with the, um, what do you want to call it? Um, the kickstart. So uh, center stand, kick stand, kick start. Lots of kicks in the motorcycle game. Um, anyways, um, I'm gonna undo this basically. Yeah. Uh, what was it? Uh. So let's get this undone. And uh, basically, because this is pretty much gone, it's, it's kaput. Um, Charlie's gonna get a drill, and basically, um, there's a video on Project Farm where um, you can start a motor or a kick start with a um, basically a drill or an impact wrench um, probably see that here 
and everything is one done. I don't think Charlie doesn't really do much yet. Where is it? 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 Organization. Imagine I've got a, a, a DeWalt tray to put your screws in and everything like that. And it's, it's uh, what's been, we've just been fed to the uh, garage of uh, not the jungle itself, really. But, um, yeah, um, always keep your screws in a box or something like that so you know where they are and um, basically you don't lose them. And then you're rummaging through the leaves and stuff. And, Anyway. Oh my god, there's a ratchet from bloody 2019! Uh, anyways, where's our screw? Lord, I don't know, I don't know, what shall we call it? Round, oh no, is it? So yeah, I think I haven't really talked more about the. Um, what do you call it? The next motto and what the next project is. The next project, well, I haven't really decided yet. Um, in Christmas time spe um, specifically, um, you get a lot of um, people that get gifts as mopeds, and some people don't know how to ride them, some people just don't want them. Um, that's what we call them. Um, but. That's basically what the next project will be. It'll probably be a moped. It's definitely going to be a 125 because 125 is more simple. Um, I think there's a screw here somewhere. I don't want to put a screwdriver through there and uh, mess up the gasket. Even if there is a gasket, it wouldn't work if it's been so long. Um, but yeah, the guy that came last time. Um, how it works in the UK at least is in order to ride a bike, what we have to do is tax it, MOT it, and insurance. Now, being that we sold it, we can't do the tax and insurance for you. We can tell you to do it in order to ride out here, you need to insure it yourself, which we highly suggest. Now, this guy messages Charlie about three days later and goes, Oh, it's got no insurance on it. Oh, well, where's it gone? Oh my God! I'm, we 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 perfectly explained it to him that you need to do insurance yourself. Um, I think it was just more like a language barrier and everything like that. The guy was all right, guy. Actually, no, you know, fuck it. The guy was a, 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 a guy was a bit he, a bit hmm. Like we explained that you need to we, you, 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 insurance and tax is not transferable. You have to do it yourself. And we explained it to him. And from our understanding, is that we thought he got it messages back and goes we sold him a 40 bike when it's got an MOT um, it's got no insurance on it but we said that in order for it to be insured you need to insure it yourself we don't know your bloody deals we don't know when you got your license and everything like that um, we don't know um, if you had any claims or anything like that so we can't do it yourself ourselves you can need it yourself but um, mm -hmm. all around the guy was just like oh it's got no insurance you sold a dodgy bike <laughs> all that bollocks but um, all together it's just that's a pretty much the game, isn't it? Um, if you're getting into um, well, the restoration of bikes um, and you're selling them, um, you're going to have a lot of weird people like that. Um, that's how it is. Um, mainly what we do is just get the bikes on the road. And thinking about it now, I, I wish I sold it something that would actually like, understand that it's a road-worthy bike that's clean, crisp and clean, rides well, pulls very well, and um, would appreciate the bike and not just moan about it and be all sorts. I mean, that's the part I regret about it most. Um, would rather sell it to you one of the subscribers. Um, probably I just enjoy it and have a nice time with really. <laughs> Oh, got something. Oh no. There should be one. That's either really kicked on, or I think I'm thinking because I don't want to put a screwdriver in it and then 
Do you have any gasket maker? What? Do you have any gasket maker? Why? Um, so I took the screws off, the bolts, but the, the um, thingy's not coming off. What's not? The, um, the panel, not panel, the side part. The housing? Yeah, or do I have to take this off as well? No, no, is there no... Flathead? Yeah, are you sure if you checked all the bolts? I checked all the ones at the bottom and everything. There's no extra bolts? No extra bolts. Alright, one minute. Yeah, flathead and pry. I got dickheads messaging you. Yeah, I'll explain the whole situation with uh, my next friend. Okay, guys, so we're kind of giving up on the DNA for now. Not forever for now. It's got spark. Um, this is all kind of buttoned up now. And the, uh, and the battery's in. I don't know if the battery's charged or not. Okay, guys, we're giving up on the DNA just for now. Um, this is kind of all back together now and, and buttoned up to an extent. Uh, we just need to put the old... Um, we need to put the spark plug back in and the coil on, which we can't find. It might be this coil, but I have a feeling this is the bad coil. So I'm going to have to go back through my video and see what the good coil looked like. It might be that one, it might not. Uh, otherwise, I mean, we've got a bunch of coils in there. We just need to find out which one was the dead one. I think that was the dead one, I'm sure. And then we should fire it up. As long as we haven't fried the CDI when we messed with all the wiring the other day. It should just fire up. Right guys, so I've got Sultan setting up my new uh, generator. And because um, he's moaning and cold, cold. I'm like, well do something then. But um, this is all buttoned up. This should start up guys. Anyway, it's a nice running engine at this stage. Uh, we'll give it a minute to warm up, guys. You can hear it, it's running. Dude, you've got to tip that whole bottle in, you know that, don't you? The whole bottle? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was just a tiny Did you not read the instructions? The instruction says, fill the reservoir with fresh oil, but how much too much? Like? Doesn't see how much. Where? As far as I'm aware, you tip the whole bottle in. Oh, but bottle. Fair enough. Wait, 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 check, check, check. One of these as well. We'll do that then, but it, it will be the whole bottle, I'm sure. The whole bottle. And that's called a dipstick. You dipstick. <laughs> you dipstick. <laughs> Look how beautiful this Diablo is. Uh, such a good looking bike. I'm going to chuck some turtle wax on it, thicken up the shine. Alright guys, wrapping up for the Boxing Day video, we got the Vespa starting on the button. Seat's ugly, bike's ugly, Sultan's ugly, everything's ugly. But it is a good running bike. Uh, can't test ride it because the front caliper is off. And to put the front caliper on, you have to take the whole wheel off. I know it's ridiculous. I really don't like Vespas. Um, but... Tomorrow, if I'm in the mood, I will piece this back together and make it look like some sort of bike. I need to order a front right and a back left indicator lens. They're expensive, you know. I need to order a rear bulb and I'll get this off and give this a paint. I'll get that matte black. And then I don't know, I might I don't, sell it like this or order some bits, I don't know. We could do what you said and paint just them bits there black. We've got the paint. If we can tape it off well, we can do that. And then it will be black and blue all around because you've got the black mud guards. Um, we could make this bit black and all because it's a bad blue, that bit that's over there. 
and then we could have the side bits blue, so it could be toned down a bit. Oh, I'm not worried about that. Not worried about that at all. Mirrors might be a good idea, yeah, some mirrors maybe. None of my bikes have mirrors, look. <sighs> oh, nice. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. It's Boxing Day. I know you're all tired. I know you're, a lot of you will be um, boozed out and still drunk. So uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Actually, you'll be seeing this tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, you'll still be boozed out and drunk um, the day after Boxing Day. But um, keep having fun while you can. Forget the crap in the world at the moment. Have a couple of days off. Take your time, rest, eat what you want, drink what you want, and then start fresh in a new year. Thanks for watching. Please comment, watch, like, subscribe, press that bell button, which I don't know what it is. That's just what other people say. Press the bell button. I don't. I can't. I don't even know where the bell button is. I don't know, man. I don't know what a bell button is. Anyway, guys, and tomorrow I'll, I'm going to keep playing with this vest, but I'll put the front caliper on, clean it up a bit, maybe do the black spray like we were talking about and get this kind of up and running it's got a, it's got a year's mot it's got a logbook it is kind of ready to sell if anyone's interested in the diablo let me know it's up for 950 but of course to my watches it'll be closer to 750 uh and honestly it's a lot of bike for that price no joke uh sultan saying if any of you guys have a bike sitting in the garden he's looking for a project It'd be nice to work on someone's bike, someone that we know, someone that's part of the channel. So if anyone's got a project sitting about in the garden and they think, Do you know what, we'll, we'll give it to the Motorcycle Rescuer for a couple hundred quid or a few hundred quid. Um, we'd be very interested in that. We can come and pick it up, we'll get it out your way. And you'll get to meet Sultan in person, which is always interesting. Uh, I suggest you book a time, a specific time so that you don't have to listen to his crap for too long yeah, I get tired after four o'clock yeah, you don't get tired he never gets tired uh, but yeah anyone's got a project out there let us know guys and we'll look into whether we can uh, collect it or not 